Welcome to Pie Crack. It is your host with the most uh, grilling like a disrespectful stepdaddy. It's the one and only HBK Heartbreak. And to my immediate right, it is none other than my brother, Ak Baby Akir. Ak, tell him about the new world order. It's when your new world order, your new world order for, for life, 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 until your contract ends. Nigga. New world order. And uh, on the far side of the room, it's my boy M. Hey, wait a second, hold a minute. Is that Paul? From the Himalayas. <laughs> What's going on with it? I just got back, man. Just got, <laughs> just got back and boy, my arms are tired. Nigga got kicked out of playing school, nigga. <laughs> nigga supposed to turn pimp on the 16. <laughs> yes, you true. ain't said nothing but a word. <laughs> a few credits short, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, gentlemen, gentlemen, have you ever have you have you seen any shows about uh ancillary Marvel characters lately? You know what I mean? Um, I seen one or two. Mm, mm. Telebot, speak on it, King. So tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we bring to you our review of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. What is high? What is cold? What is Falcon? What is winter? Poems. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is our critique of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, episode number one, numero uno. To my surprise, mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. I let... WandaVision informed my opinion of what I believed. I, I let it inform my hypothesis that this was going to be trash. Mm. And I guess what I should have learned from all the Marvel movies is they let different directors and different writers write them shits. You know what I'm saying? It's true. So what I got from WandaVision was so trash. I don't know if it lowered my expectations or what. But I didn't mind the show. You know what I mean? I didn't mind the show at all. The action was great, you know? It was like a movie, really. It was like the first third of a movie act. So it's everything we thought WandaVision should have been, um, at least for the first episode. Um, you know, I don't got too many complaints. Paul, what did you think? First of all, man, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was good. I'm here for more. They definitely, uh, they definitely making a comeback from WandaVision because, you know, I had thoughts on that. Did you? Yes, did you I, not? Did. I did. I wasn't there for the podcast, but I had thoughts on it. You know what the you kind mean? of thoughts that you keep to yourself. I right? assumed you went broke. You couldn't afford you the know Disney Plus. You know I'm a Marvel shill, buddy. Like, but, uh, ten out of ten. I feel like they didn't interact too much in this episode, but I do feel like the dynamic of Winter Soldier and Falcon when they get together is going to make for a good uh, show, kind of like that Riggs and Murtaugh team up type thing and yeah man it was a it was a good intro to the show i'm intrigued you have my attention mm, you know i got saying? you i got you i ain't gonna lie man <clears throat> um and maybe it was the uh the re allow you to reintroduce yourself it was the reintroduction of uh gsp's character <laughs> but here's the thing man this felt like a sequel or a successor to um what was the second one Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier, yeah. It felt like, it feels like Winter Soldier, you know what I'm saying? It has that, like, spy thriller, crime, espionage, you know, that, that shit that I loved about Captain America 2. That, you know, I mean, for obvious reasons, wasn't really in Captain America 3 as much. But, yeah, so this feels like a spiritual successor to Captain America 2. Do you think that was a, I, I went back and watched all the movies recently. Do you mm -hmm. think that was a missed opportunity that they tried to do um, Civil War? As Captain America 3? No, I mean, I feel like you needed that... Because I wouldn't have wanted... As much as it wasn't the follow-up to the story to Captain America 2, I didn't want... It was more of an Avengers movie, but I wasn't... I didn't want that as an Avengers movie, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, it was, it was like an Avengers 2.5. It was like, if it would have been done oh, now, it probably would have been like one of these shows. But I mean. that's exactly how I feel. So I'm saying, like, we got Ultron instead of... Yeah. Civil War, but honestly, I would have took Civil War over Ultron, you know what I mean? And to be honest, to me, they're both on the same level as far as my enjoyment of the movies, but mm -hmm. I like Civil War better, so yeah. 
I would have rather seen the follow up to Captain America when the soldier. So yeah. And speaking of which the follow up, GSP, that he got him a role. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he lived, but <laughs> I'm hey, rooting for him like a black person in the scary <laughs> movie. Nigga, I'm, 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 I'm not here for it, buddy. I'm not here for it, buddy. That nigga GSP is the worst actor of all. How dare you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I think that man. All his lines was in French. How do you know? Handing it up. He's like, no, your eyebrows <laughs> wouldn't do that when you say that. Chocolate Bruno. Now he said Chocolate Bruno. His eyebrows ain't raised at the right time, man. All right, I'm going. I'll shoot up, kill you. <laughs> oh, you are going to die, Falcon. <laughs> oh, my wing suit. How you say, how you say, I'll see you later. <laughs> 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 Listen, man, I like this character, man. You know what I mean? He whoops a lot of ass mm -hmm. when he doesn't have to go against a super soldier. You know what I mean? It's a fair mm -hmm. fight. You know what I mean? And he could leap. You know? It's okay, just important guy. for someone named Leaper. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, you know, I like, he's in and out. You know, he gets in. He does some dastardly deed. He gets his dastardly deed uh, undone. Mm -hmm. How do mm -hmm. y'all love this, man? He gets out the way. Man. I don't get it. I don't care. I don't it's simple, he's it's fine, man. Right? Cartoonish evil, He's right? fine for a street-level villain. Guys. Exactly. Yes. It's you simple cartoonish evil. And you need them. You well, need them, bro. Honestly, I don't even know what his goal was in this particular <laughs> was he was kidnapping his the... cargo. <laughs> They was kidnapping an intelligence officer. You know what oh, I'm is that what he was doing? And they yeah. thought they were going to be as intelligent as the nigga? I thought the nigga was just, just flying planes around here. <laughs> <laughs> they flying, nigga. They're going to be no flying over this. Over this, <laughs> this Dragon Ball Z. Well, I thought you were really doing, flying in the French <laughs> aerospace. <laughs> <laughs> we will kidnap him and oh, ain't gonna be no flying in this Goku approved fight arena. Yeah. Yeah. No sign of life, man. I, I, oh, okay, and so here's one thing was uh, I really that I was saying is I, I like the way they did Falcons just fighting. You know what I'm saying? Because I was saying I was telling Sean I feel like the way that they could have done this could have been stupid. Like it could have gone so terrible. Mm -hmm. But I feel like for you taking the concept of a man having wings and then flying around and like fighting people. You probably did. This is like the best version of this because it's just certain. Also, just certain stuff that he does. I think it's just dope. Like when he's got to go fast and he like tuck back and he kind of like jets out or there's like this cannonball move that he does all the time. So yeah, man, the action in it also just looks really clean. Like it's, yeah. it's movie quality. Oh, it's real smooth. It's yeah. definitely movie quality. <laughs> yeah. That's why I said it feels like the first third, the first act of a movie. Like yeah, they ain't now skipping it this is what I'm gonna ask you, man. Do you feel like? That uh, because we're gonna. This is not the last time that he's had to showcase his his flying maneuverability and all that. It's obviously his show. Well, half of his show. Um, do you feel like the these hundred million dollar wings that this man is wearing got outwitted by his Akira called a flying snuggie? Do you feel <laughs> like? Do you, do you feel like there's anything that's gonna be like a good opposition or a showcase for this man's power and ability? I believe they've they've done it, you know, ducking out on rockets yeah. and flying the rockets into other flying, you know, opposition. Yeah. That's really the long and the short of what he can do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless yeah. they give this man some angel knives to throw from his wings. Or That's really Ninja it. Stars and shit. They gave him a little uh, a buddy that accompanies him. You know what I mean? I mean, you kind of saw it on the plane. His enemy is close quarters. Yeah. So if you get him in a room where the wings can't spread out all the way, you just finna get hands. We have to clip his wings. <laughs> 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 there was one section where they was fighting on the plane. Batrock was giving him the hands. Give him the hands and feet. A particular boot that knocked him across the room. And, and I think knocked him out while they did a quick change routine and shit. <laughs> and decided not to shoot him. while. That's the only the problem I have with this scene. They, there's some funny editing going on here. I think Zack yeah. Snyder might have something to say. Because 
match. He kicked him. This nigga hit the floor and then woke back up and they was in full different costumes and shit. No, he, he cut to them in full costumes. Yeah, it cut. And then they looked over and, and looked he looked at was, him and he was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, oh, which one of y'all kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> and then GSP said, ha <laughs> And then jumped out the plane like he was getting away. Like that wasn't Falcon's whole thing. They cut the scene where they ran into the editing room and then edited out the part where he... <laughs> where he was sleeping on the floor. <laughs> where GSP was, was actually delivering lines of English. <laughs> nah, we can't use this shit. <laughs> so, I, I, I guess we this is a theme throughout the um, throughout this first episode, but let me ask y'all this question, man. How much does an Avenger make? <laughs> Not a lot. Like, that's, a, that's a real <laughs> Apparently thing. Apparently less than $30,000 a year. Bro. Apparently they, not enough. They were eligible for the stimulus check. <laughs> Is the answer to that question. Not enough to pay off a boatload and shit. I came front. I was very surprised because I was like, shouldn't y'all be making a bunch of money? The least Tony Stark can do is have y'all as official employees. On the payroll? Yeah, bro. Like, like how many billions of dollars this nigga can't put you on the payroll? This nigga can't give you $100, 100 on, shares man. of stock and shit and Stark Enterprises and shit? Like, nah, nah st- bro. Stark looked at that nigga's financial history. <laughs> Pepper Potts can't put you on the dime. <laughs> nigga said, Jarvis, look up this nigga's uh, financial history. <laughs> he bought a Cadillac in 1994. <laughs> he, he put dubs on it. <laughs> <laughs> they still spit it. <laughs> and Iron Man said, yeah. Let's get yeah. that money. Let's put that money in the wind, <laughs> <laughs> of greatest wings. That nigga paying off the wings and shit. You don't know. No. Start making money off his image. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you these wings, nigga. Because you got to pay them off. Bro. All the money you make off That's not my license like, right <laughs> now. This shit, nigga. Yo, you can't even be the used car commercial. Yo, if the writers of WandaVision did this show, the first four episodes would be about Captain F- Captain Falcon building his credit. <laughs> <laughs> so that he could get along. And the evil banker in the back. <laughs> if he bought truck and shit. You know <laughs> Did I? And you find out on the fifth, yeah, on the fifth episode is my truck the leaper, and you're like, oh, this show about to get good. <laughs> <laughs> it was my truck all along. That's, the, that's what the writers of WandaVision told him to do for the show, man. <laughs> Make the first three episodes about him building his credit. Then you came to get the bag. <laughs> you couldn't afford a bag at all. All right, man. Let's, I am French. Let's let's talk I about the. <laughs> 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 let's talk about the elephant in the room, man. All right, now as we know, Anthony <laughs> Mackie's beard and mustache <laughs> <laughs> brown ratio. <laughs> His mustache to eyebrow ratio. That shit is terrible, dude. Why do they make black people cut every ounce of hair off their face, dude? I don't get it. No. They got the nerve to do close-ups. Hold on, hold on, man. His ashy ass beardless face, dude. Hold I don't on. get it, dude. Hold on. I actually, here's, I, I'm cool. You know what? It's it's a problem. I'm not saying it's not a problem. The one that I have a bigger problem with, they be having black people in these movies, they ain't, they ain't gonna be having no edges. Yeah, like they yeah. don't give them no edge up. They yeah. just like they just the Hollywood the barber, dog. And I'll be trash, like, what man. is going on? Or you go to hood getting real barber. At least yeah. that's the only thing I appreciate about Marvel movies. At least Rhodey hairline been in the back end. <laughs> they don't unblack. They can't do nothing. Line, they can't do nothing for Don Cheadle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, if they can give LeBron a hairline, yeah, they, they can get that nigga three. They can put some Beijing in that shit, nigga. Something, man. Something. You know what I'm saying? Been having a hairline for the last three years. Hey man, Jadakiss got a hairline now. Jadakiss got a hairline. Jadakiss got a hairline. Jadakiss get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and you can tell they had no, no nothing to stencil it on, me. so they just guessing freehand. Let me look this up, nigga. Ain't no goddamn. <laughs> that nigga ain't changed his rap style in fifteen years, man. and he all of a sudden got a hairline. <laughs> Said, nigga, we don't even know what your hairline was, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Why I'll they always got to try to find your hairline? Why, <laughs> man? I be forgetting that they got to legit actors in here sometimes. Oh, my hairline had to be crooked before they took it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this nigga got the, the way, way cut, dude. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> oh, it's got waves in it. It looks like they digitally <laughs> added this solid. <laughs> this nigga look like a character on oh, motherfucking Snowfall and shit, man. Get this no. nigga the fuck oh. out of here, nigga. 
Cause they be no, nah, it was it was somebody else who did this, but they've been shaving their head, and then all of a sudden he came and I was like, "You got a good head. Why have you been shaving your head?" This that's right. That's time? what he said that in a, in a um, interview. They he said he, even his mother said she thought he couldn't grow hair, and that's so <laughs> he's just been shaving his head, for shaving no his head for the whole time. All right, let me go ahead and jump in here, my name. For the longest time, if you was from the New York or the New York City area, even if Newark, New Jersey, them niggas live and died by the bald Caesar, nigga. That's all they got, nigga. That's all they got. My brother had the same hairstyle for 22 years, nigga. And finally, I was like, hey, man, why don't you do something different? And he refused. And then Jay-Z grew out his hair. Now remember how long Jay-Z had that hairstyle, nigga? Forever, man. That nigga came in Forever. Hawaiian Sophie with the same <laughs> He didn't switch it till about, what, 2016? Yeah, yeah. Right. And then my brother finally grew out his hair, dude. Yeah. Them niggas was, them New York niggas <laughs> was stuck in the 90s like motherfucking money. They, they, that's who they must have used, nigga. They must use a uh, motherfucking New York haircut chart for these niggas because they all got the New York, man. Look at this hairline. <laughs> but here's, okay, so yeah, let's address this elephant in the room, man. All right, if you seen Endgame, you know Captain America took back all the Infinity Stones but then stayed with Agent Carter. That's his real hairline. <laughs> yeah, I know, That's right? That's real hairline. Right? Put this up for the people, nigga. You can not You can fool some of the people some of the time. Nah, nah, Paul. Go nah, back Paul. to the other one. That shit look like he brushed his hair backwards, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, their hairline looked like it was running away, nigga. Fuck out of here, Jada Kiss. It's the same hairline, bro. Yeah, well, it is. Is. <laughs> because the thing is like if you see it it's just he's just turning at a different angle he do got a hairline is he doing the eyebrow thing where he raised the eyebrow to like make the lines come and make the, the space between his <laughs> on his forehead shorter oh, than I, that trick, I, that I know that trick they, they try to raise their eyebrow they, some, to make their forehead the smaller, smaller. <laughs> I know that trick <laughs> That's an old school game. That's like when a girl schools, no, lift dude. one heel so her ass look fatter. Nigga. I know that shit. <laughs> I remember. I remember you used to raise your eyebrows. So your eyebrows look like I remember you. Forehead. You desired oh, that. Bro. I know you, dog. You desired that, boy. You desired that eyebrow you raise your that. Nature, nigga. You asked for that, nigga. <laughs> you was the nigga looking surprised all the time, nigga. I remember. I remember those New York niggas used to wear ski mask goggles, nigga. In the summertime, nigga. You desired them goggles, boy. You had the bubble, the, the goose down, nigga. That was you with the bubble goose, nigga. Uh, okay, what was the elephant in the room? <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? 